My niece said to me, Aunt May, this needs to be in a museum. And I said, don't say something like that. That never happens until people are dead. Well, Aunt May was wrong because 90 of her quilling pieces are currently on exhibit at the Roger D. Malkin Gallery at the Arts Council, and she's alive. I never called it art. When people saw it at my home, I'd say, this is quilling, it's my hobby, and now I'm an artist, and this is art. She started quilling in 1974, after a lady at a craft show introduced her to the art. And she had some items on display that interested me and I started asking her questions. I went home with two packs of paper and a pattern for a little bunch of grapes. And by the time I finished that, I was hooked. Now she has 114 pieces in all, each one taking many hours of labor. 109 hours on the girl in the garden, 59 hours for the kaleidoscope, 52 hours on the American flag, 102 hours on the cross. She was featured in the magazine Life in the Delta in 2011, and she's featured again in a gallery. She credits all of her success to her biggest fan. Mr. Jones over there, that guy right behind you, that's my biggest fan. That's me. <laughs> May says this has been quite the experience for her. I guess my excitement really started when I walked in the door and saw it hanging in the gallery. I haven't been unexcited since February the 28th. <laughs> you have the rest of March to see her quilling in the gallery. Reporting in Greenville, I'm Callie Carroll, WXVT Delta News.